guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm bailey and today i'm not doing so hot you know i it's it's just not going well right off the bat it's currently 1206 p.m and i literally just got out of bed today like just now i'm not gonna go super hard on myself usually when i would wake up this late i would literally like beat myself up uh, beat myself up over it for like hours but i will say i was sick yesterday like very sick i don't know what i had because i almost feel perfectly fine today my throat kind of sounds a little bit weird but like besides that like i feel fine i think it was like the 24 hour flu or something but i woke up yesterday kind of felt a little crappy but i decided to go to lunch with my friends anyways because we had those plans and then i got back from lunch and i just felt like I needed to take a nap. I took my nap, I woke up, and I felt like doo-doo. I felt terrible. So I literally slept all day, didn't do anything besides like edit, and um, now we're here. Although I did need that extra sleep to recover and heal and feel better, I have a lot that I need to do today, and since I feel better, I need to get my day going. <laughs> I just got out of the shower. I just took a body shower and I literally shaved every inch of my body. It had been like a week since I really like exfoliated and shaved and I just felt like I needed to do that to like feel my best or whatever. I was just gonna come and do some skincare right now but I actually need to do my makeup because I have like two different things that I need to film for like putting in other YouTube videos if that makes sense. Maybe you guys can tell, maybe you can't tell. Hopefully you can't tell but once I say something you're gonna be like oh Oh, like it's really noticeable. I've had lash extensions for like a year and I recently just kind of let them all fall out on their own and I didn't get a fill so I currently have no eyelash extensions left. I talked about this on my TikTok and I said that like I feel a little bit ugly right now but also like that's so normal because I've had permanent mascara on for the last year. Also I cut my finger so sorry about this band-aid. But yes nobody talks about the aftermath of having eyelash extensions. Also I already know I'm gonna get comments about what fake tan I am currently wearing. I consistently use the tan Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. I consistently use the Tanologist Face and Body Drops in the shade Medium. I just mix these in with my moisturizer before I go to bed and like make sure it's really, really blended into my skin. And I don't know, sometimes it gets a little streakier, a little patchy, but for the most part, it works really well. I don't really want to talk through my whole makeup routine because I feel like I talk like through my makeup routine so often. Also, I feel so ugly in this headband right now. Okay, I need to stop with the self-deprecating talk. I look look beautiful with this headband on. <laughs> Was that convincing? Yeah, I don't really want to talk through my whole makeup routine, but I'll share the products that I'm using as I go. So I just put on the La Roche Posay Double Repair Face Moisturizer Professional Primer. I have been using this for so long. Like I literally, I don't know why I can't like commit to a different primer. I really don't want to wear that much makeup. Like I don't even want to put this on my face because I hate wearing like cream face products other than concealer and like bronze and blush but I think I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter and I'm just gonna put like a little bit on like literally two little dashes on each cheek and then like a little on my forehead and my nose and down here Kosas Concealer in the shade 4.5 Neutral. You guys always ask what shade I use in this. It's kind of light, but I really only use it under my eyes and like where I want to highlight. All right, now I'm using the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick to contour a little bit. I look insane. Rare Beauty Blush in the color Bliss. This is such a beautiful blush and it blends in literally like it's a powder. It's so amazing. Now I'm using this Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt Brow Gel. Now I'm going in with this Morphe Powdered Bronzer. For powder blush today, I'm going to go in with this Anastasia Blush Trio. There's just three blush shades and I'm going to go in with these two light ones and just kind of mix them. I just baked with the Laura Mercier setting powder. I've had this particular container for years. I don't know how it's not gone yet. All right, I'm just gonna curl my lashes and do my mascara. These are the two products that I've been using recently. Um, but this is the Urban Decay Subversion Lash Primer and then the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. 
world. Okay, guys, I did my makeup. Here is the finished look. These eyelashes look insane because there's still, like, two extensions applied that I just, like, cut down to, like, match the rest of my length. So the mascara kind of went on weird over there, but makeup done. And I'm going to go make a bagel because I'm starving. I actually just got my little... My little meal box from HelloFresh, so I definitely want to make one of those meals in a little bit, but I think I need to get some work done before that just so that I have it out of the way. And then that will be more of like an early dinner thing, but I'm going to make a bagel in the meantime. Okay, you guys, I just sat down and I filmed one of the things that I needed to film. I needed to like pop in to a different video and like explain something. So I did that and then I have to film. Oh my God, what do I have to do? Oh, I have to film the intro and then like the talking portions of the podcast studio makeover video. If you guys haven't seen that yet, it's out on my channel already by the time this is going up. So like I said, the video of the podcast studio makeover is already up by the time you're watching this so i just wanted to bring you in here again and show you i have this little table here in the corner and this has like recording equipment and then like my laptop goes there when i'm actually like filming and recording episodes but i desperately feel like i need a little chair here and we have two office chairs in the office downstairs and no one really uses them at all so i think i'm gonna bring one of the chairs up here oh my gosh that was way more of um a heavy wait <laughs> This was way heavier than I thought it was gonna be. And like my stairs are like wooden and like windy and the hallway, oh. I'm just gonna lower. Oh, this is perfect. Love. Okay, you guys, I finished all my filming. It took a lot more longer. Okay, I am brain dead. It took a lot longer than I was expecting, but I finally got it finished. I actually need to run over to my mom's house to let the dogs out. She is out of town during the day today, so I need to go let out my little pumpkins, my little punchkins. Hi! Aren't you, like, excited to see me, huh? Hi guys, hi guys. Okay, hey you guys, I'm back from letting my dogs out now and I'm literally starving at this point. Like I mentioned earlier, I have a few HelloFresh meals in my fridge that I could potentially cook up right now. I have worked with HelloFresh in the past and I am so grateful to say that I'm working with them again. So thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I've cooked with HelloFresh multiple times now, but I remember like the first time I ever tried it, I was literally shocked, like mind blown at how amazing it was. I just don't understand how someone like me who can barely cook boxed mac and cheese the correct way can make like gourmet looking and tasting meals with like no effort at all. HelloFresh allows you to skip those extra trips to the grocery store and long checkout lines so that you get to do more of what you love with chef crafted recipes delivered directly to your doorstep. When you get your HelloFresh package, it comes in this big like temperature controlled box and it has like various different meals inside depending on like what what meal plan you pick, like how many meals you want per week, like stuff like that. Each specific HelloFresh recipe comes in its own little personalized bag here with pre-portioned ingredients. And then it also comes with an easy to follow recipe card so that you can get like delicious homemade cooking without all of like the meal prep and planning. Like this is literally all you need to have an amazing meal. The best part about HelloFresh to me is that I get to try new recipes that I would never even think about cooking. HelloFresh has 40 different meals that you get to choose from weekly so every single week you can put something new on your table the meal that i want to make today is this crispy parmesan chicken it literally looks amazing look at this this looks so freaking good so we're gonna make this together meal here is finished it literally looks amazing and it looks almost identical to the picture but let's see how it tastes because that's what really matters mm, that's really good look at this chicken y'all it is so like crispy i'm so hungry 
It was so good. Making this meal was literally just like so fun and quick. Like usually when I try to cook something, I'm like stressed out because I'm like worried about forgetting something or like not knowing how to actually like execute the recipe. It's so hard to mess up. Like it is harder to mess up than to make it good. You know what I mean? If you guys are interested in HelloFresh and being able to try a bunch of super easy, fast, simple, delicious recipes, you guys can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code Bailey65 for 65% off. You also get free shipping with that discount code. So there's really like nothing you're like losing. 65% off for any type of food, anything is a crazy deal, especially in today's economy. Even if you just try it once, use my discount code, just try it. You can never go wrong with just trying new food. I'm gonna finish eating my food and then I'm kind of feeling like skincare maybe, self-care a little bit. We'll see. Hi guys, I'm going to be very open and honest with you guys right now. I'm not even gonna lie, I did consider lying just to like make my life seem more put together than it really is. I didn't think that was fair to you guys or to myself, so I'm just gonna quickly explain what's going on. Basically, the last time I spoke with you guys, I had just finished cooking my dinner and I was eating it and it was phenomenal. After that, I came up to my room and for some reason, I just started having like a really bad time mentally. I don't know why or what the cause was or any of that like right now I don't even remember why I was like feeling the way that I was but moral of the story is I was just feeling kind of sad kind of unmotivated like really just not in the mood to film anything else and that was yesterday um, but it is around the same time that I left off filming yesterday like it's a few hours later so we can all just pretend together that this is the same day because in my ideal situation it would have been the same day but I just was going through it. I still want to do like my skincare and my self-care and all of that like I talked about um, and I feel like now it is more needed than ever. So that's what we're gonna do. I also have to put some laundry away and I have to pack because I'm going to Chicago tomorrow. I'm just quickly going to fold all of these clothes just so that I don't have to worry about it. I think I'm gonna bring these pants low-key. Yeah. Or do I want to bring these pants? Or do I bring both? I'll just throw them both over there. Why am I like this? I'm going to Chicago for like two days and I'm already overpacking. Like I do not need two pairs of sweatpants, but whatever, let's just keep going. <laughs> these sweatpants are from H&M, you guys. And I have so many of these, like I, I have so many pairs of these sweatpants in different colors. I don't know the exact name of these sweatpants and I know they have a couple different ones, but I've tried multiple of their sweatpants and they're all really nice. If you're looking for some cheap, comfy sweatpants that are actually like nice and like flattering on, H&M. H&M is always hit or mess, but they hit with the sweatpants. Okay, I put on my wide angle lens so you guys can see more of what I'm doing down here. Is this dramatic? Am I already overpacking? Because that's crazy. I just have such a huge fear of getting to my destination and being like, oh my gosh, I have nothing to wear to bed. I forgot my underwear. I don't have an outfit for this particular event that we're going to. I'm such like an anxious packer, which is not good considering I plan on doing a lot of traveling in my near future. Here are my comfies. Now we need bras and underwear. I'm bringing one like normal bra. This is just like a black bra. <laughs> and then I'm bringing this Calvin Klein sports bra. One, two, three, four, five pairs of underwear. Just in case we're on the period, we don't know what's gonna happen. And then I have two pairs of granny panties because we're on my period. So I like to wear these at night when I sleep on my period. I don't know why. I feel like this video is a little TMI. Are we loving it or are we hating it? I'm delusional right now, by the way. In this last bag, we're gonna put a dinner outfit and then my outfit for during the day. Maybe two potential daytime outfits just so that I'm safe. Cause you know how many times I like think something's gonna be cute in the morning, like for school, like when I was, <laughs> back when I was in high school. Um, I'm so annoying. No, but like before school, you know, sometimes you would like lay out outfits and be like, okay, I'm gonna lay this out so I actually like dress cute tomorrow. And then you wake up in the morning and you put that outfit on or you like look at it again and you're like, that is the 
ugliest outfit I've ever seen. So I don't want that to happen. So I think I'm gonna bring two daytime outfits just in case, but I'm really trying to figure out what to wear to dinner. I don't know, like I don't know what the vibe is at all. Okay, I had to turn the camera off because I went into a full blown panic attack. Um, I just tried on every single pair of jeans that I own that don't have rips in them and not a single pair fit. So that's not good. Cause apparently my friend said that the restaurant we're going to is like too nice to wear ripped jeans. The first dinner outfit option is this pair of low rise, like very low rise. Like I just don't think they look good. Like they only look good with particular outfits. These low rise light wash jeans, this black long sleeve, the sides ruche. So you can either have it like super, super cropped or you can have it like a full length shirt. So if I wear it with these low rise jeans, I'm gonna like bring it all the way down to meet the jeans, if that makes sense. I have this black leather jacket blazer thing. Um, it's really hard to tell what this would look like, but I'm trying to give off like these vibes with the outfit, you know what I mean? And then wear my black boots with it. Where are my black boots? Oh, here they are. Black leather boots with this fit. And then the other two options are dresses. I know two options or three other two. There's three options. This sage green, like super ruched on the side dress. It's like high neck, very classy looking. So I think this dress with the blazer or I have this plain black long sleeve bodycon dress. This will be fine for dinner if all else fails. Like one of these options is gonna work. And then my daytime outfit, I have just a pair of ripped mom jeans. These are from Garage. I have this brown long sleeve that I can either wear with this little like button up thing over it or or I can wear the black long sleeve with these jeans with this or I can just throw this away and wear like the black puffer or wear the leather jacket. It seems like we have a lot here but in reality like a lot of them can be like mixed and matched like the pieces so I feel like it's not that bad. I'm gonna pack everything in here and it's I'm gonna pack all of this in here. That's not gonna work. Who's gonna tell her? You guys are always like, film pack with me's, film pack with me's. Like you guys love my pack with me's, but I don't think you understand how stressful those are for me because I'm already stressed out just packing how it is. And then having to worry about filming a video on top of that is an astronomical amount of freaking the heck out. Okay, and then I think the only shoes that I'm gonna bring are these black boots, which I can wear during the day or at the dinner, and then these Jordans I'm gonna wear to the concert, and then I can also wear these with either of the daytime fits that I have. This duffel bag is not as big as I once thought it was. I might bring like a little backpack too, because I want to bring my laptop, so that will give me some more room. Jacket, slide her in here. Is this crazy? For a two day trip, is this crazy? Am I crazy? I might be slightly insane. Stuff is all packed up for the most part. It literally looks like it's so much and it is. I just don't know how to make it less. I'm gonna put a face mask on cause I feel like it. This might just be the most unflattering angle I've ever seen of myself. Chinese maybe? Korean. I think it's Korean. Korean skincare is good, so hopefully these don't break me out. But anywho, there's a multivitamin one and a hyaluronic acid one. The hyaluronic acid one is really calling my name, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. And then I think I need a snack, even though... Guys, it's literally 12.30. I have been record... How did like literally like three hours just pass and it felt like 20 minutes? I cannot stand myself here's the face mask by the way if you're interested i hate sheet masks but for some reason i'm just like craving a sheet mask and not like a regular face mask this video has been all over the place i hope you guys enjoy it okay here she is mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. it's so cold i don't understand do they make these for people with like ginormous faces because there's always just so much extra fabric could you call it that? So much extra sheet. Set a timer for 15 minutes. I just took the face mask off. My face feels really good. Smooth, moisturized. My lips are feeling a little dry though. I'm also really hungry. I, this video is just...
I'm hiding from the light. This video just keeps getting dragged on and I feel like I just need to end it while I'm ahead. I'm not ahead at all, but I'm going to bed. It's currently 2 a.m., 1.45, and I'm not doing well. So we're gonna go to bed. I have to wake up, not like super early tomorrow or anything, but I need to get up early enough so that I have like a few hours in the morning before we actually leave so I can like make sure all my stuff's together. Probably unpack and repack my suitcase or my duffel bag like four times. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so, so much. Again, if you're interested in HelloFresh, which I definitely recommend that you be interested in it because I'm not lying when I say it is seriously incredible. There's a reason that you hear so many people talk about it. Like I've like gone over to friends' houses and seen like HelloFresh boxes on their counters. Like my friend's parents have HelloFresh. So you guys can check the first link in the description box to go to HelloFresh.com and use my code Bailey65 for 65% off and free shipping. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.